Hey guys, we're gonna do something different today. We are gonna do a sound comparison with three different ukuleles. Now, all three are gonna be the same size. All three will be concert size. However, one of them will be worth $100. You could buy it for about $100. One um, is worth about $400. And the other one is worth about $2,000. So $100, $500, $2,000. Now, I'm going to do example one, then I'm going to do example two, then I'm going to do example three. I'm going to play all three of them together, right down the row. And I'm not going to tell you which one is the 100, and uh, which one is the 400, and which one is the um, $2,000 one. Um, I'm going to let you kind of just listen, and I'm going to let you try to kind of figure it out. But I will tell you at the end. But what I want you to do is leave me a comment in the bottom and tell me which one you actually like best. Try not to think of just the dollar sign. Which one actually was your favorite? Which one was your second favorite? Which one was your third favorite? Okay, so here we go. Up first, number one. Here we go. to number one I'm just gonna play something that's a little bit different and let you guys kind of hear them all again okay and I want you to think about which is your favorite one which is your second favorite one and which is like your third favorite one or, or your first favorite your second one and the, the one that you like the least okay here's number one again and this is in no particular order this is number one and it goes like this two again. See what you think about number two. Alright, 
here is number three. back to number one. Tell me what you think. Here's number one again. Okay, here's number two. to think right now of those ones which was your first favorite second favorite least favorite okay thinking okay now I'm gonna put the price tag in your head and let's see if uh, if money talks okay maybe money doesn't talk maybe money is just in our head maybe money is an illusion as to what is actually good and bad. Maybe sometimes cheap things can be great. And I, I happen to find that a lot of times cheap things are good. And sometimes um, name brand stuff really isn't that big of a deal. So let's see. The very first one I played is an ukulele. It's a Cordoba ukulele. And this is uh, one I've had for over 10 years. And it is a great ukulele. It's a Cordoba 25CK. And uh, you can't really find these brand new anymore. They're kind of like an old instrument now. Um, Cordoba still does make instruments, but this one is, I, I believe, around in the $400 range. That's what my folks, when they bought it for me when I graduated college um, years ago, that's what they said it was, was about 400 bucks. So I'm gonna go off their word because they have good memories. 400 bucks, it's a beautiful instrument. Warm. Probably the warmest sounding. Okay, here's another one. I just got this one from a friend today, which is why I made this video, because I was really excited for this. This is from a manufacturer in Hawaii, and this instrument, I'm told, goes back to the early 1960s. So it's vintage, and it's worth a lot of money, and it's made in the USA, which that means a lot. That those in, made in the USA usually cost a lot more money. This is the one that is about $2,000. I was trying to find it online, it's hard to find ones that have this thing on it, but this is a Kamaka ukulele, and I'm not sure of like the type. It's a Kamaka ukulele though. That's a vintage instrument. I just got it in my hands though, so we'll see. I might have to change the strings around to get a little bit more out of it. But anyways, that is a, uh, that's a vintage instrument. I can go for about $2,000 right there, so. $2,000, that's the big guy. Okay. And if you like that one, cool. And then this is one right here, it's a it's a Teton. Um, and I really like this company and I use these with my students. And we, can, we got them for about a hundred bucks. And uh, it's a Teton, a Teton TC003. And it's a concert size ukulele. I think concert size is probably my favorite size anyway. And it has a little shimmery quality to it, which I like. Um, but all three kind of do sound very different. Um, but they're all good in their own unique ways. And it just depends on the person. I'll admit, sometimes the way they sound is also um, a factor. But apart from that is the way they feel when you play them. So, um, again, number one was the 400. Number two was the expensive 2001 vintage instrument. And number three was the entry level $100 instrument. 
So please comment below. I'd really like to hear what you guys think on this. Like, what was your favorite one? This is just me playing in a room, no microphones, just that's how you would hear it. So I'm curious to see what you guys think. All right, guys, peace, hang loose, all that good stuff. Have a good one.